In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this really cool stadium seating only by using Revit stairs and Revit railings. So let's get started. And now, of course, before we jump into Revit, I would just quickly like to ask you to check out my website, balkanarctic.com. I'm going to link it up just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. Uh, there you can find all of my Revit courses where I take the extra time to go slowly step by step and kind of explore in depth all of Revit's complicated topics. Uh, so if you're interested in learning Revit and mastering Revit, that's definitely the best place to go. Uh, also, there you can find some of my uh, customized, ready-to-go Revit templates. You can find some really high-quality Revit families, uh, parametric Revit families, and we also have a plugin which might interest you too. Okay, so now without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And as you can see, here we are in Revit, and what I'm going to start first uh, is just the stair command, but before we do that, we just have to do a little bit of calculation with our levels here. So as you can see here, we have basically level one and level two. Level two by default is set at 4,000 millimeters. Uh, and in this case, because I want uh, to use stairs for kind of the, the, the base construction for our seating, I actually have a desired number in mind for the height. Now, usually height is divided by kind of the you basically divide the, 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 the distance between level one and level two by the desired stair height and that gives you your uh, uh, that gives you your riser height. Now in this case we want a specific riser height so what I'll do there uh, is I'm simply going to use a calculator here so let me bring it up where it is. Okay there it is. Uh, okay so here we have 4,000 uh, millimeters. Now I want to divide that by 480 millimeters which I want to be my kind of height in between different levels of seating and that gives me 8.3 uh, so obviously I can't have it at 8.3 8.3 so I'm just going to calculate 8 times 480 uh, and that gives me this number so 3840 so this is going to be the height that we're going to use I'm just going to copy that and then here I'm just going to paste it so just control V and make sure to get rid of that comma because Revit doesn't like that <laughs> okay so here we go uh, we have that height set up and now we can go into level one and now it's time to create kind of the base for our seating we're going to have the base we're going to have the kind of the stairs going on both sides and then the seating is going to be model, modeled as railing. So what I'll do first is go here to stairs and then I'm just going to switch this to monolithic stairs and then I'll go here into edit type and now let's duplicate this type and create a new one which will be seating base. Okay so once we have that uh, selected then for the maximum riser height I'm going to type in 480 and uh, then for the minimum tread uh, depth uh, that's going to be let's say 1000 millimeters and then for the minimum run width let's go with 3000 millimeters so once we have all of these settings in check I'm just going to click OK and now when we come here you can see that the actual riser height is exactly what we want it to be uh, the tread depth is set to this so it's everything is perfect everything is in order and then finally I'll just go here to railing and I don't want railing so I'll just set that to none click OK and now I can create one segment of that. Uh, now here we have this, it's 3000 millimeters. Let's actually expand that to 10,000 millimeters just to have a bit more seating. Okay, so once we have this base in check, so if I hit finish, uh, this is what we have. Now, obviously, you're not going to walk up this because it would be really difficult. So we want to have stairs on both sides so people can kind of easily come to their seats. Uh, so for that, let's go back now into level one. Let's go here to stair and I'm going to select just the regular monolithic stair and I'll just go here into edit type. And here, uh, because the uh, minimum uh, the uh, uh, minimum tread depth has been set to 1000 for this, this one is going to be 333.33, for example, just to divide that by 3. Uh, and then the max riser height, I'm just going to bring that down to 160, uh, because 3 times this gives us 480, and that's what we were kind of shooting for. So we have 3 steps in between each kind of level of stadium seating. Uh, so let's set that to that, hit apply, okay, 
that's fine. And then here, what you want to do is you just want to uh, up this to, I think, 24. I hit apply. There we go. That's the correct one. And then this one should be that. Okay. And now if I start placing this, okay, so it's actually set to 3000 millimeters. I forgot that, but that's all right. We can change that. So I'll just select this, go here to this 3000 millimeters and let's go down to one or to 1200, for example, and this is what we have. Now, if I come here and if I unconstrain this, and if I bring it in here and go to the 3D view, so here we seem to have an issue. So what you'll notice here is, first of all, uh, this stadium seating doesn't go all the way to the top, and then here for the stairs, they don't go all the way to the top either. So we want to add one extra step both for the stairs and for the stadium seating. So what I'll do is I'll just go back down here into level one. So you want to grab the little grip point here, which is just going to give you an option to add an extra step. So now when you go back here, as you can see, that's what we get. Uh, and then I'll go back here into level one, and then for the railing, I'm actually going to keep the railing on. So let's actually set that to pipe uh, on the treads. Okay, hit finish. And then what I'll do is I'll just select this, go to copy, and I'm going to copy it from here to the other side. So we have one on each side. And then if I go to the 3D view, I can just kind of delete the, the railing on the inside. Okay, perfect. Uh, so now uh, we still have an issue here with that one extra step. So let's go into edit stairs, select this, go back down to level one and just drag this a little bit till we get that extra step. And now if we go back to the 3D view, this is what we have. Uh, now st still here we have an issue or you might not consider it an issue, I do. Uh, so here, as you can see, we think uh, this kind of fits in perfectly. Uh, I think we can all agree on that. Now, the issue that I see here is, well, here, the seating is going to come here kind of towards the edge. So it doesn't make sense for the, uh, the step here to kind of go at the seating. I would much more prefer this step to be up here in the front. So what I'll do is I'll select both of these, I uh, go down to level one, and then I'm just going to move them by a couple of steps, just like that. So now this will give me what I want to see. So you see how now the step is aligned here in the front, and then the seating is going to be in the back, and everything is going to be fitting in perfectly. And you'll see that when we add the steps. So now it's time to add the, uh, or not the steps, uh, to add the seating. And now it's time to add the seating, which is kind of the most interesting part of this tutorial. So I'll show you how to use uh, just a regular seating family. So here, if I go to component and go to load family, if I go back a few steps, so here in the US metric or uh, US Imperial, doesn't really matter when you go to furniture and seating here, you'll see oops, not storage, uh, seating. Uh, here you'll see you have seating auditorium. So this is basically stadium seating, auditorium, amphitheater, whatever you wanna call it, uh, That's the this is the seat for that. Uh, so some kind of an event seating. Uh, so here, what I'll do is I'll hit open and then let's place one of these here. So if you wanna place these, it will take a long time and just it's annoying to have to place all of these in a place. So what I'll do is I'll use railing, uh, basically how here we have these uh, kind of repeating balusters. You can place seating as those balusters, so you will basically have kind of repeating seats, which you can place as a line-based element, which is really cool. So let's get rid of this one seat. Uh, so what I'll do now is I'm just going to go here to file, go to new and then to family. Uh, then you wanna pick out a baluster, just a regular uh, baluster hit open. Uh, and then once it opens up, first you want to disable the height parameter. So here, instead of this, I'll just set that to none. So that's the first step you want to take. Uh, then you want to go down here to reference level where it looks like this. And then you want to go to, uh, let's see, to uh, insert and then uh, here, oh, sorry, create component. And then you can place that seat 
in here. Now, this is one of the options, and it's actually the wrong option because Revit isn't going to cooperate uh, too much with this. So what I prefer to do, instead of loading in that component, is to just open that family up. So if I go back here to this 3D view, and let's place that seat here, if I just double click, it's going to open up that family. So once it opens up that family, I can go here to reference level, and then I can just kind of grab the geometry here, uh, then go here to copy to clipboard. And once I get down to my reference level of the baluster family, I can simply come in here and then go to modify, go to paste, and then uh, just align to current view. So it's just going to place it like so. Now I actually want to rotate that uh, by 90 degrees off to that side. Uh, then I want to move it down here. And actually I want kind of the back of the seat to align with the center of this. So I'm just going to kind of move it like so. Okay, there we go. So now if we go here to the left, it looks like that. Uh, if we go to the front, it looks like that. So this is basically what we're shooting for. Uh, now also, if you select this, what you'll notice here uh, is if we go here to visibility settings, oops, I, I think I've selected the uh, detail items. So actually, let's make a broad selection, go to filter and then check none. And let's just check the detail items, hit apply. And actually, I don't want to see those. Okay. What is this? Uh, these are all lines, so I don't want to see a lines either. So let's just get rid of those as well, uh, just because I think they're not necessary here. So let's delete all of those here. Okay, perfect. Now let's select just the geometry, hold the control key. Uh, hold the shift key uh, to remove the reference planes and then go here to visibility states and just make sure you check uh, that it's visible in plan uh, in plan view and then also perhaps when cut with uh, uh, when cut in plan view or and so on uh, and I just like to keep them all checked click OK and now we have our baluster which is actually seating so now what you want to do next is just go here to actually save and then I'm just going to save it somewhere on my computer. So let's just save it on desktop as uh, baluster seat. Okay, so once we have this, let's load that into the project. Uh, that's uh, project two. Okay, and once we're here, now it's time to start kind of assembling our family. So what I'll do here is go into level one, uh, go to architecture, uh, go to railing, and then we can use just the regular railing here. And I'll just come here towards the end, just like that, and place a single line like so. Okay, so once we have this line in check, we can go to the 3D view, and this is what we have. So this is currently just a railing. Uh, now what I'll do is I'm just going to go here into edit type, duplicate this, and let's just call it the seating. Okay, uh, then I'll go here to rail structure. So no, not the rail structure, the baluster placement, yeah, for the balusters. And first you wanna take a look at the post. So we don't want any. So you just come in here, you scroll all the way up and set that to none on all of these. Uh, then you wanna go back up here to your main baluster and then you wanna set that to seat. So baluster seat. Uh, then for the base and the top, you wanna set that to host. And for the top offset, I'm just going to type in whatever. I think Revit likes it when it has that. And then for the distance from previous, let's go with 500 millimeters. So 500 millimeters from seat to seat, that should give us enough room. Okay, so once we have all of that in check, I'm just also going to uncheck use baluster per thread on stair, and then just click okay. And then let's go here to the top rail, uncheck that, we don't want the top rail, click OK, click uh, finish, and this is what we get. So as you can see, we have our seating and it looks really, really good. So if you want, you can play around with the, kind of the, 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 the distances between these. I'm quite happy in this case, I'm just going to leave it as is. This one I'm going to delete and then let's select all of these. Let's go back now into level one and then let's go here to uh, copy. A multiple and then let's just copy this all the way up to the final level so just like this 
So once we have that, let's go to the 3D view and here we seem to have an issue. Well, actually we don't have an issue. Uh, the problem is these aren't hosted on the stair. So you can actually just select them, go to pick new host, click on the stair and you're done. Again, pick new host, select this one, pick new, oops, not that, pick new host. And basically you just repeat that. And this is what we get. So I've just kind of hosted them all up. And as you can see now, we have that step that's aligned and then you can just walk up and go to your seat. So this looks really good. As you can see, it's really simple to make. And if you save it to be part of your template, you can just use it wherever you want. So now I can just select the stair, go control uh, or not control C, go uh, create similar. So CS is the shortcut for that. And then you can just place it wherever you want. So you have that. You can play around, extend it, and then place your seating here. So it's really simple and straightforward to now duplicate this. So if you're working on a big project, has a lot of this kind of auditorium, stadium, amphitheater seating, uh, I think it's a it's a really good solution to do that in a really kind of quick manner. And then if somebody says, oh no, we have to change the distances between the seats, it cannot be 500, we have to change it to 550. You just go here to balance replacement, set that to 550 and hit apply. Okay, apply and as you can see, all of them have changed. Now they've kind of tilted off to one side. That's okay, that happens uh, just because of the positioning and then you can just kind of nudge them in place and you're done. So there you go. That's how you can create stadium seating. Uh, if you want to get this project file or if you want to get any of my other Revit project files, all of them are available on my Patreon page, which I'm going to link up just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.